We've all been there, miles into our rides, only to pick up a pinch puncher or to snap our chain, then to find that we haven't packed the right tools to make the repair. Then we have to make that massive walk back to the car. Hi, I'm Liam from Off-Road CC, and in this video, we're gonna go over some trail essentials to make sure that you don't have to take the dreaded walk of shame. But before we go any further, if you like this video and you'd like to see more content like this, plus reviews on gravel bikes and mountain bikes, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's really easy to forget what a pack mule your car can be. Some of you may even park at the trailhead, so that means that you don't have to carry as much kit on your person. So let's start off with the most important thing you can take with you on your ride, and that is a mobile phone. Of course, before leaving, you'll tell someone what you're gonna do, but in case you fall off and you need an ambulance or you just need to call for a pickup, always, always, always take a phone with you. Keeping with the theme of safety, I carry a first aid kit in my car, so that comes with plasters and bandages just in case I need to do some kind of first aid on myself or a friend. But aside from first aid, I carry a track pump in my car. It's great if it can do tubeless, but if not, it's always useful to do your pressures when you start. I then have a spare set of shoes. Not everybody will have a spare set of shoes, but it's always super useful just in case you leave without yours. Then if you have one, it's also useful to carry an extra multi-tool. Here I have my Topic Ratchet Rocket, and this is great because it's got an ergonomic handle and the ratchet mechanism. This is mostly used for wheel skewers and just basic adjustments before I start, but it's always useful to have one just for easy reaching. Then it's good to have a set of zip ties. We all know the unparalleled repair power zip ties, so they're always in my car. And then again, just in case I forget, there's a bottle of chain lube. So let's move on to what I'll bring with me while I'm on my bike. So my philosophy towards packing for a ride is to carry as light as possible while minimizing the chances of having to walk back to the car. But it's also important to consider the distance that you've had to travel to get to your trails. So if you've had to travel two hours, you'd want to make sure that you're packed out for every eventuality. For me, if it's only 20 minutes, I don't mind having to walk back and then drive back home because it's not that far and I've not lost too much. But it's important to remember that these are just suggestions, so feel free to chop and change these to suit your own needs. So starting off with the shortest rides, they might only be about one to two hours long and hopefully there's not too much of a walk back to the car. With that, I'll only carry a multi-tool and a way of preparing a puncture. So that could be a whole new inner tube with a pump strapped to my bike or a tubeless repair kit and a CO2 cartridge. Then I'll carry just a bottle of water that's caged to my bike. On top of all of this, it never hurts to carry a quick link or a power lock. Just a really quick and easy way of repairing a chain if it does snap, and you can just tape it to a cable or keep it in a pocket. So these short rides are also great territory for thinking about what you can store on your bike and taking advantage of those tools that can be stored in steerage tubes or in your handlebars. So I have a Granite Design stash tool that's always in my steerage tube. That means I'll never forget it and I also have the Muck Off Stealth tubeless repair kit in my bar ends. Again, I'll never forget that and it's always there when I'll need it. Now, as our rides get longer, moving into the half day mark, we can use this as a base and just build upon it. Of course, what we will need is more water and a great way of carrying more water is through a hydration pack. Now, I really like a bum bag. You might be more fashionable than I am, but I think it's great. They keep, it keeps weight off of my back and keeps my back from getting super sweaty. And of course this one, this is the Dakine Hot Laps 5 litre. It can carry a ton of stuff. So for the purpose of this video, we'll just assume that we're not carrying anything on our bike or our person. It's all going into this bag. So I'll carry absolutely everything that I need to repair a puncture. So I'll have an inner tube and a CO2 cartridge and a tubeless repair kit, but then I'll move over to a more serious pump like this one from Topeak, which has a pressure gauge on it, and it's a really efficient pump, so I'm gonna spend less time pumping the tire, and I'll be able to get it to an accurate pressure. I'll then move over to a more comprehensive mortar tool. I've got this one from Topeak, and it comes with absolutely everything that I need to repair most of what will happen on that one on the trail. But it's really important to think of one that has a chain tool built into it, so you're prepared for any breakage of your chain that your quick link won't be able to fix. Along with the chain tool, it's also good to have a multi-tool that comes with all the spoke keys. You'll never know how much you'd love a spoke key until you really do need it. As our rides get longer, we travel even further, and then there's even more potential for an even longer trek back to the car. So with that, I'll need to carry more kit, and then I'll move over to a backpack like this one from Dakar. 
The move over to a backpack means that I can carry even more water, which will keep me sustained for those long days. I can carry more repair power. Before packing for that day log ride, I'll start thinking about what spares I can carry with me. So that means for definite an extra mech hanger. That means that if mine were to bend and be completely irreparable, I can just straight out replace it and carry on with my ride. That's the same for a gear cable. They can snap, and a spare one weighs very little, so it's always worth packing a spare one just in case. It's also a great idea to carry an extra inner tube, so that's two, just in case. There's no harm in it. And even then, you can carry some glueless patches. They weigh nothing, they're super small. Again, you might as well pack them. Then with an the extra long day, you have to carry something to eat. I like to carry energy gels or some energy chews along with a full-on lunch. I'll start thinking about putting electrolyte tablets into my water as well, just to give me that extra boost at the end of the day. Another great spare to carry with you that's also great to keep in your car at all times is a fresh spare set of brake pads that fit your brakes. Let's face it, we don't always check our brake pads and it's horrible when you're halfway through your ride and you've run out of meat on them. There's nothing scarier than not being able to stop. And I'm sure before your big ride, you'll be checking the weather just to make sure what you need to bring with you in terms of jackets and waterproofs. But in the winter for sure, it's always worth bringing an extra small packable waterproof just in case the heavens do open. Of course, in the summer, things aren't so changeable, so it's more of an as and when thing. So there you have it. Keep fed, keep hydrated and keep prepared and you'll be sorted and enjoy any ride. Again, if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.